Hello out there in history land, all you boys and girls and other things. It is me, Professor, well, formerly Professor, Artemis Funkmeyer, otherwise known as the History Man Guy. <coughs> oh, that's so smooth. <coughs> Today, we're going to be talking about a little holiday you may or may not have heard of, uh, Christmas. As you all know, that's the day when Santa was born, or some of that such something. And we're going to uh, talk about the origins of the holiday and whew, how it got started and, and traditions from around the world and a, a bevy of other things. And Hold on just a second, I need my Christmas nightcap. Oh, it tastes like my divorce. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mm. <coughs> Let's get the show started. Oh my yes. We're going to need a proper historical text for this. Something that can convey the true meaning of Christmas in an unbiased way that is full of truth. So of course, we can't find it, so we'll use the Bible. All right. Opening to a page here, uh, Chronicles, sounds interesting, chapter 18, according to this, uh, something called, uh, someone named David attacked the Philipp Filipinos, subdued them, and took Gath and its towns from the hand of the Filipinos. Now what we're seeing here in the Bible is... A lot of interesting things. I'm not sure if that was actually the Bible because I don't remember Filipinos in it. So we're just going to go off of my own interpretation here to start out with. About, about 8,000 years ago, Jesus was born over in the Middle East. Sorry, I have to be politically correct. I'm not allowed to say, what was it, Jerusalem or something? I don't know. Mm. Oh, that tastes like Yuletide. All right, so Jesus was born, and then a lot of people were like, oh, cool, there's this magical baby. And a lot of other people were like, I hate that magical baby. I'm going to kill you now because that baby exists. And they started killing each other with swords and stuff. And then a bunch of people wrote this book. And they were like, you got to be doing what's in the book. Blah, 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 blah. And the book had some crazy shit. And it like the Filipino stuff you just read. Mm. This wine. This wine is going fast. Anyway, Jesus grew up and then when he was like 18 or some dumb shit, um, he was like, we should have a holiday to commemorate how awesome I am. People were like, that is a bitchin' idea, Jesus. We should totally fucking do that. And he was like, yeah. And so he was like, we're gonna call it Chris. Mass and they're like, why? And he's like, because my last name is Christ, and the mass part just sounds like it fits on the end. And they were like, we're not gonna question you because you're a magic Jesus. Somebody was like, we should chop down this tree and like go put it up. I'm not sure why these biblical people talk like that. Hold on, I need some more wine. Glasses just slow me down, like condoms. So anyway. Somebody was like, we should cut down that tree. And then they were like, okay. And they were like, we should put this up in our house. And the tradition of a Christmas tree was formed. And they were like, this is ugly. <clears throat> so Jesus was like, I know just a guy. I've got this gay brother, Randy. He said, Randy, I need you to jazz up this Christmas tree. Randy says, oh, Jesus, I know just the thing. And that's not offensive because I have gay friends. Randy Christ. His brother was like, oh my god, I know just the thing. And they went out and they invented lights. History would tell you that Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. History man guy is here to tell you that that's a load of bullshit. Thomas Edison just killed baby elephants and hated Jews. Now one of those things is not bad, but the other is terrible. I'll let you decide which one. It's the Jewish one. So then they had the decorated Christmas tree and they were like, well, what do we do? This holiday boring. So they were like, let's give each other stuff. And back then it was like biblical, so all they had was like frankincense and myrrh and like, you know, Frankenstein, stupid stuff. So they were like, here, have this bag of, of grass. Oh, thanks. 
<clears throat> you got the Lord and Savior a bag of fucking myrrh. Yeah, I'm sure you're gonna go to heaven. God damn it, I'm almost out of wine. Ugh. <clears throat> That's the story of how Christmas was founded in America. Because, you know, Jesus was born there. And not the Middle East. As the liberals would have you believe. <clears throat> <sighs> um, that was our show. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, the hangover's already here. That was our show, ladies and gentlemen, of the jury. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just used to saying that. Thank you for watching. Uh, we really need the ratings.